this is, uh, and you got to tell me your, so, I don't want to uh, butcher your <laughs> name, man. So it's My Elias? Is, uh, Elias. Elias. Elias Logothetis, yeah, but uh, I'm known as Eli. Everybody calls me Eli. So okay. You can, you can call me Eli, too. You have my permission to call me Eli. <laughs> We're cool with that. Yeah. So Eli, uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Where where are you from? Where'd sure. you grow up? And um, yeah, where do you so, call home now? And <laughs> home is usually on the road now. But <laughs> um, I'm originally from Boston, Massachusetts. I was born up in Boston and uh, spent time uh, in Boston until I was eight years old, and then moved to New York City. Um, I lived in a town outside of New York City called Greenwich, Connecticut, until I was 15 years old, and then finally made the move into Manhattan when I was 15, and graduated high school in Manhattan. Cool. Uh huh. So that, that's my home now. Um, then I went back up to Boston for college, uh, and just graduated college uh, in 2007. Where'd you go to college? I went to Berkeley College of Music. Oh, you in Boston. did. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, it was a, it was a great school. I met a lot of a lot of really good people there. And then uh, post college, um, I had so many ideas floating around in my head musically, and. Uh, uh, my girlfriend also is, is out, and uh, she was a ballet dancer here in Utah, at University of Utah in the ballet department. So I had all these ideas and you know, um, decided to go spend the year with her in Salt Lake City. Um, and so in 2008, which was last year, I spent the year out here just sort of practicing and getting my stuff together um, for the next big move. And uh, she was out here, and we had a great year, and that's how I got you know, to know the Archulettas. And, um, and then as of December, the end of December, I moved back to Manhattan. Uh, and so um, home is Manhattan, but really home hasn't been Manhattan for the last few for a years. While. Yeah, it's just, it's just now beginning to, you know. <laughs> well, I, I, was, I was wondering because uh, when I was talking to Jeff, and I have to tell you, I'm impressed with uh, how you came about uh, becoming part of the band. Yeah. Um, I was talking with Jeff, and he was all excited about this drummer from New York City who came to the house and actually gave him a resume. And I was like, are you kidding me? Someone flew out from New York City. So that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah, but still, that's here, really, but... really cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, um, I found out about David uh, through playing the circuit locally. Like, while I was out here last year working on my, just, you know, my own drumming and stuff, I, um, I got to know some really good friends who, you know, put me in contact with Jeff, more or less. And, you know, to be quite honest, I just kind of, went for it and gave him a phone call, caught him totally by surprise. Uh, he picked up the phone, kind of crazy, wasn't expecting that, and was totally cool with me. I mean, he spent a half an hour on the phone just talking about the industry. And, and, uh, and so that was really cool. I was like, this guy is, is pretty awesome. And, um, you know, we had gone back and forth a little bit, and, and I expressed interest in wanting to play drums. I was checking out David's music, and, I mean, just like the rest of you, the more you check out David, he is, he is the, next, the next big, big thing. I mean, he's already big, but he has so much talent, and he's such a good kid, and you just get such a positive vibe from him. I, I felt that same way. And, um, you know, I just I, I felt a need to become a part of this production and, and really kind of reach out and exercise, you know, every possible which way I could I could somehow get to play with David. And so in December, like I said, I was getting ready to move back to Manhattan. And I was I just thought to myself, you know, I just got to go for it. And I got to put my face in front of Jess and he'll know, you know, how passionate I am for music and how passionate I am about this. It's not just... It's not just another gig, you know, it's, it's really about being out there to play and share an experience with all you guys. And, um, and I think Jeff felt that, and that's ultimately why he called me. But yeah, just kind of surprised him, showed up on his doorstep. That's cool. And said, hi, this is who I am, this is what I want to do. So. Well, I'll tell you, I've, I've been around David for about four years now, and that attitude totally, totally fits <laughs> cool. with, uh, cool. with how they operate and click. So that's yeah. really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so a, a few things about you. I, yeah, I mean, um, you're totally into music. How long have you been playing? Uh, since I was percussion? six years old, and I actually just turned 24. So I'm I'm pretty young. I'm just fresh off the 23 mark. Uh, just like an older brother, David. You know, that's <laughs> four, cool. Four or five years apart. Um, and uh, yeah, I've been playing since I was six. So it's been it's been quite a while that I've been doing it. Um, however many years that is. You know, it's about 18, 18 years. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so. It's been a while, but you know, like anything, man, music has its ups and downs, and 
uh, last year there was a point when I first moved out here that I was actually going to quit drumming. Um, I had been through kind of an emotional roller coaster, you know, in college and and uh, it had this group that had broken up and that was sort of my baby. I was trying to trying to do big things with it and um, we had gotten pretty far and then that broke up and I was kind of heartbroken on that and, and um, had decided to stop playing drums but that lasted like a week and a half you know? <laughs> and then slowly I got back into it and uh, here, here I am now again getting ready to play so that's cool yeah. we're excited we're really yeah. excited Me too. so besides music what else do you do do you uh, <laughs> Do you have any like hobbies that are non-music related? <laughs> um, you know, I, I do. Uh, <laughs> this is going to seem really weird. Um, I traded stocks for a while. That's cool. I started when I was 18. Uh, David's age just kind of was into it and did that. Uh, other than that, I, lo I love skiing, man, which is good. Um, Utah is a place to be for skiing. I sure. recommend you guys come out to Utah and check out the snow out here. It's unreal, unreal snow. Um, I love to go out and watch music. I love to dance and like just go and have a great time and, and check out all these new bands and see the energy and, and, and you know live in the moment. I mean, there's a, those are more or less my hobbies: watching music, fractional skiing. I'm, I'm still not that good. I've just only been doing it a few years, but but I can get down the mountain with only falling a couple times. So yeah. well, there you go. <laughs> that's ahead of me actually. So that's right. awesome. So you. Um, you talk about seeing some of the new bands. Who do you like now? Who are some of your influences that, you know, over the years that sure. have kind of molded you into who you are right now? Cool. Um, when I was younger, Dave Matthews Band was like God to me. Like Dave Matthews Band was the band, you know. And I remember, you know, being eight years old, listening to their records, like, I am going to do that one day. One day that's going to be me on that stage. And um, their drummer, Carter Beaufort, was a big inspiration growing up, and through him, you know, and, and his playing, I sort of got exposed to another guy named Dennis Chambers, uh, who's, who's now, he's probably been my biggest inspiration drumming in the last, I don't know, eight years of my drumming, um, maybe even longer. He's an unbelievable drummer. Um, some other bands, you know, I've, I've had, been really lucky, I don't know if many of you guys know the band Soul Live. It's kind of this like trio funk thing. They actually toured with Dave, uh, Dave Matthews for a while, a couple of years. Um, and their drummer Alan Evans uh, kind of met him through a through a mutual friend of ours, and he's been really cool. And I love his playing. He's been kind of out there for me and and somewhat of a mentor along the way. That's um, cool. Yeah, and then you know other inspirations, man. I love pop music, so just checking out what's on the radio and. Uh, <laughs> I kind of go through a practice routine where I, I try to learn everything that's out. So I'll sit at my drums, you know, with my laptop or with my iPod and just have my headphones and literally just go for it. learn everybody's songs because there's awesome. so much good music. Yeah. 